Countless women have had success with in vitro fertilization treatment, but have found that the side effects of hormone injections are difficult to manage. But now there's an alternative treatment that does away with those injections. CBS News correspondent Sheila McVicker reports. At 15 months old, Isabella and Ilya Milkovich are two handfuls of fun, completely oblivious to their very special beginning. It's pretty much the perfect sort of pregnancy, really. Yeah. Isabella and Ilya were the first babies conceived in Britain as a result of in vitro maturation, IVM. Two of about 400 babies born worldwide so far, without the massive doses of hormones most fertility treatments require. In historic Oxford, the fertility unit is the only clinic licensed for the procedure in the UK, one of a handful around the world. Dr. Tim Child, fertility specialist, is an expert in IVM. So the eggs we get out are immature and then we have to mature those in the laboratory for a day or two. That's the difference. In traditional IVF, women are injected with hormones to stimulate their ovaries and ripen their eggs before they're extracted. In IVM, tiny unripened eggs are harvested from follicles and matured in a kind of hormone soup in the lab. Just like IVF, the eggs are fertilized and the resulting embryos put back in the uterus. Women who are 35 or less who have a good number of resting follicles in their ovaries, that there's about a 40-45% chance of pregnancy per IVM cycle. That's a lower pregnancy rate than traditional IVF. But IVM is safer for women with polycystic-like ovaries. Uh, it's simpler because it's a much quicker treatment. Women basically turn up and have the egg collection, maybe one scan beforehand, uh, and it's cheaper. Tina and Joe Milkovich were scheduled for IVF, but they knew that could be risky for Tina, who has polycystic ovaries. I'm lucky I've got one of each, um, and I'm happy, but if it wasn't successful, then yes, I would have, I would have tried again, and again, <laughs> and again, <laughs> because it wasn't, it wasn't a bad procedure. Producing two lovely babies. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, Oxford. We're joined now by Dr. Randy Morris, a reproductive endocrinologist, and his patient, Courtney Webb, who has the country's first successful IVM pregnancy. Can't see her belly with the banner, but take our word for it, she is pregnant. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Doctor, let me begin with you. In the, in the piece we were talking about risks with in vitro fertilization, IVF, what are those and are they not a problem in IVM? One of the risks that we see with fertility medication is a problem called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome in which the ovaries are so sensitive to the fertility drugs that the women over respond, they get high hormone levels, can get very sick from that. Since we don't use fertility drugs with IVM, we completely avoid that problem. I know, Courtney, that that was a problem for you when you tried other fertility treatments. You had this uh, hyperstimulation risk, which can even, I understand, be a fatal condition. So you went to Dr. Morris, who told you about IVM and said what? Uh, he told me that this procedure would uh, eliminate that risk. We had tried two other options and, and had to stop one because of that risk. And um, we, were, we were excited uh, about trying this because we, there was you know, little risk to me and my health. I'm sure that he also told you that it had never been done successfully before. Did you have any concerns at all? Uh, of course, there's always concerns when you're the, the first uh, trying something new, um, you know, concerns of if it would work and what the success rate would be, and then also just concerns about the overall procedure. But um, Dr. Morris and the staff were, were great in, in leading us through it, so we were very comfortable with them. Doctor, why hadn't it been successful until now? You know, it, it is a little bit trickier to do than standard IVF. Uh, I mean, we've had standard IVF for many years. We're very comfortable with that. But these techniques are different. Uh, the way that you remove the eggs is different. We use different uh, aspiration needles. The media, the culture that we use to grow the eggs uh, is different. And I, I think that it just took a little while before we hit on all the right uh, options. But it's less invasive and a lot easier for the patient, isn't it, than IVF? It, it's a lot easier for the patient. Uh, with standard IVF, they have to take fertility drugs uh, anywhere from a couple of weeks to uh, even as long as a month. You don't have to do that at all with IVM. We basically can just choose a date that we want to remove the eggs. You maybe have one ultrasound before that. Uh, you go right in. It's shorter. It's, it's cheaper. It's a much easier process. And if you're lucky, you wind up pregnant like Courtney. Everything going well with your pregnancy? So far, so good. We're uh, six weeks away, so we're very excited. Oh, you're right there. Do you know what you're having yet? It's a boy. It's a boy. Congratulations. Courtney Webb, Dr. Randy Morse, thank you both. Thank, thank you. Thank you.